We have reached a point in public schools now where first off, we're telling our children, uh, don't be so sure you're a little girl or a little boy. There's no reason anybody anywhere in America should be telling any child about transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. And yes, I called it filth. And if you don't like it that I called it filth, come see me and I'll explain it to you. Oh yeah, they're coming after you. Some of you may have heard, some of you may not have heard about Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson and the stir that was caused by his remarks at a church that you just would not have thought that was that controversial 10, 20 years ago. But obviously times have changed. And so he makes a statement about transgenderism and, and homosexuality being taught and promoted and pushed on children in the school. Now, normally I would not have played this clip, nor would I play the, the other clip, although I think there's a need for people to hear and to see this, but because he wants people to watch the video and to share it, I want you to do the same thing. But not only that, I also want you to pray for him. We say this often, but it's not always true when we say they don't make men like that anymore. With him in this regard, they don't make people like that anymore. They don't make men like that anymore. People who are willing to take a stand and to risk, obviously his political future, but they may, they may not reelect you. You may get ostracized by the world, but you got a place in heaven. For several days now, I have been viciously attacked because of a clip video where I talk about removing the sexualization of children from the classrooms in our public education system. Of course, the media and those on the left have tried to change the focus from education to the LGBTQ community, specifically that I hate them. Let me be clear. I will fight for and protect the rights of all citizens, including those in the LGBTQ community to, to express themselves however they want. That is their right as Americans, and I don't think that government has any role in telling them otherwise. However, the idea that our children should be taught about concepts of transgenderism and be exposed to sexually explicit materials in the classroom is abhorrent. Earlier in the year, my office released a report about indoctrination in public schools. In it, there was reference to a book titled George that a parent found in their child's school. The book is recommended for elementary school students. The main character is a biological boy in elementary school who wants to remove his genitals so he can become a girl. This book is not the only example. In Lawn Boy, there is sexually explicit content, including an animal performing sexual favors on a human. Unfortunately, there's more. The images you are about to see are from a book that is currently in North Carolina schools. It's called Gender Queer. I want to warn you that the pictures you are about to see are explicit. I hate to put these in a video, but I feel it's necessary to show you exactly what I'm referring to. Now, as you look at these photos, I challenge you to describe them as anything other than filth. These materials do not belong in public schools. For those who are calling on me to resign, for those who are saying that I don't represent North Carolina values, let me ask you something. Does forcing these on children represent your values? Do you really believe that these images should be shown in the classroom? This whole thing has been an attempt to once again change the argument and silence voices on the right. Well, let me tell you plainly right here and right now, I will not back down. I will not be silent and I will not be bullied into submission. I will continue to fight for the rights of our children to receive an education that is free from sexual concepts that do not belong in the classroom. And I don't care who doesn't like it. If you are with me, share this video and sign the petition on our Facebook page. So guys, if you will, take the video, share it, and also let him and his campaign in North Carolina, let them know that you support him.